Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Alright, so given the fact that we have seen Young Sang singing in several different styles, I think uh, you guys were really excited for us to check out Daryl Long singing with her in this like a rehearsal environment. I don't know, this is music training center? Oh, I don't know. And what... Daryl's there. Yeah, so he's just like, they're just chilling, just singing together and that's pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look. I love this type of videos. Me too. They're so organic. Different style. Oh, I love her. She's so confident. <laughs> Adorbs. what she did just before it's important to highlight why because that is taught when you're working in theater harmonies are a main focus of the whole art uh, aspect of the theater or the musical theater thing um so and it's kind of difficult to understand that the harmony you're carrying is actually a tune is the tune to yourself is a tune that you your character believes is the right one. So uh, it's really intertwined with acting through song. It's really intertwined with lyricism. So to help aid the uh, the technical process of that, you you teach a core note in which the, the actual tune, the actual song it's running, that helps you find your harmony. So mentally, you're you're waiting for the main singer or the singer that you're harmonizing to uh, to hit a certain note, and that is your cue to find your harmony. So, and that is practice through. So if you pay attention to how she is literally just waiting for the right moment in which he triggers her harmony so that's how i would like i would approach it to teaching harmonies to a kid so say for example you're singing in a in a complex uh, third underneath or a complex third on the uh, above you want them to find comfort in knowing that what they're singing cannot be changed uh, regardless it of the tune. Swayed. That's right. Regardless of the tune that's, uh, that's happening. But you find that through listening. Okay. And it's re that's really refined hearing. Yeah, she's like a little musical genius. Like, yes. A little musical prodigy. There's a lot of really cool tales here yeah. in, in, in her attitude to her singing. Just pay attention to this. You see? She's just finding the... Great! She's really clever. See, that's hard. That's hard because it's a hard harmony, it is a hard harmony because usually you would want to then sway back to the that first uh, lower third. Which is not right because it will sound off. And she did because after the one, two, three, I'll be there. You want to go back to that lower third because it is the natural inclination because the tune goes down right. in that section. But she maintained the notes, and that sh that shows a lot of uh, vocal dex dexterity. Nice. Yeah, it she's Good. really freaking clever vocal, here. Eh? Yeah, man. Right. One, two, three, I'll be it's the one. So also impressive. the attitude aspect 
the way, just like, actually, this is my verse. By the Thank way, you for coming to my show. <laughs> Daryl does this on a daily. Yes, he does. He does this on a live stream, mm -hmm. like every day, basically. Yeah, it's, it's so crazy. I love it. He, he does takes it with requests. His yeah, let's do yeah. this. Yeah. Well, with Yasan, yeah, yeah. because yeah. they're like married now. No, no they're, fiance they're, is when yeah. you're before married, isn't it? Engaged. Engaged. That's, that's right. It. Just before. Promised to each other. Promised. Is yeah. that what it is? Well, that's where the engagement comes from, yeah. You've been promised. That's sick. It's a compromise. That's such a nice way of putting it. It is, isn't it? If you look it's up, nice. Because everyone, everyone has like, if you look up online about marriage, <laughs> it's all not very nice. Well, actually, I think it depends on well, that different, lovely to me. This, different aspects in culture. They have different meanings to the engagement part of, oh. of the marriage. Uh, but yeah, I think overall the general uh, concept is that you have been promised, promised to one That's another. Awesome. Yeah. Go on. That's all right. Nice, right? That's lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Not so much of a legal war. <laughs> yeah, I, in fact, yeah. What's mine? It's mine. What's yours? Yours. <laughs> End of it. Oh. Oh, it keeps doing that Why is stupid. Why doing that? Sorry. I think we're back. Yeah. <laughs> ah, she's great. <laughs> He having a hard time finding that harmony <laughs> and she's like la 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 I'm here baby Cuz it's a tricky one It's saying so what the fuck she's awesome That is classical training, baby. <laughs> that is how you teach a kid to find a child. Yeah, a, a child. Why? What's wrong with the kid? Just. Kid is usually used. It's because I use it often, right? Ah, right. But kids usually used for like it's like niño. Yeah, she is a kid. Yeah, but you would you in would, this video. I don't know, but like in in Spanish, you would say you wouldn't really say la niña. Like that sounds a bit. You know oh, what I mean? I think it's endearing. No, you, we would have said we would have said like uh, el peque or something like something a bit more endearing. And kid is kind of like that. Ah, oh, right. It's like too the harsh. child is like oh, you know. All right. A bit nicer, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, a sang. Yeah, that's better, yeah. That's, but how, she's not a kid anymore, though. I know, she's like, but... Well, she's a kid. She's 14, right? Well, see, it is... It, oh, okay, fair enough. Right but, now, Dad, because my dad's watching this as yeah. we're recording. So back then, she was like eight, mm -hmm. maybe like seven. Obviously, she looks like smaller than what she is. Um, but she's 14 now. But she, yeah, she's been doing this for a little while. And her technique is very much refined. Obviously, when you work with somebody like Leah, or you have... Uh, tailored your singing since a very young age, emulating Leah's techniques, uh, I think you would come to find uh, really difficult approaches that other people would have a hard time trying to understand uh, being normal to you, being the, your default settings. Because she learned to sing and she learned to sing at a great standard. Sorry. Really early, really early in her life. So she was performing on TV, Leah songs when she was four years old. So already have that um, second nature to this, uh, uh, to the approach to these techniques. So she doesn't know otherwise at this point in her life, in this particular video. So she would switch to a more lyrical singing approach instead of a, a finding the big chesty belt because that's how she she's been uh, molded, mm. but it's the more difficult approach too. This is the harder way to see uh, a, a higher note. But but in kids, this is perhaps the safest manner to teach a kid to find higher notes, it, including the tilting of the larynx, including the high resonance at the back of the throat, a soft li uh, lifted, soft palate, a, a more lyrical approach to it, because it's safe. It's very, very safe. 
So there's no strain, there is no uh, um, restriction in the larynx, there is no way that she could possibly damage the really tender uh, folds that she has at this age. Yeah, so, well, uh, good trick, right? It's just That would be a good trick to stylistically become good at something if you're really young. Copy the best of that style from a really young age. Yes, but you could argue emulate. the same. You could argue the same with like, she would have emulated, I don't know, somebody like uh Celine Dion who's known for big clean belts yeah and she could have come out of it she could have but yeah. it's a harder path less refined less safe all oh, right yeah, yeah. for a kid this is the safest manner that's that's all i'm saying copying I, classical training that's right not classical lyrical, lyrical yeah. contemporary singing yeah. okay fair enough Go on. yeah that, that, just you know just if you look at it she she was finding grounding Grounded, really grounded. And she finds even the positioning of her head, it's finding that really high soft palate to creating that natural resonance. Oh, it's brilliant. You know, doors, man. Now, what that shows to me, forget all the technical shit. The fact that she looks, she looks for eye contact when she is, she is ending, when she is starting, she is looking to harmonize. That's someone who's trained and that's someone who knows, has been singing for a good while. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, you know, I understand the technicalities that come with singing and all that stuff, and you know, they're they're very valuable. But that that kind of we call that a, in the in Spanish furruco. That can, that means experience. That like means touch, touch, touch and feel. That mm -hmm. means. Being there, getting dirty, getting your hands on, and uh, <laughs> just being under the fire, basically. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that that's what impresses me about her. Let mm -hmm. us know your thoughts about us, guys. And a shout out to everyone getting merchandise. <laughs> uh, I see the numbers going up, so uh, thank you so much. It means the world that it helps the podcast and that's reactions right. like this. If you re you enjoyed uh, this type of stuff, it means the world. So goodbye.